guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe so you can see future videos like this. If you want a super easy graduation gnome to make, he's three and three quarter inches tall, super easy to make. Wanna know how to make him? Stick around, I'll show you how. Okay, for this gnome, you're gonna need a pattern and it's in the description below. Just click on the show more button right below the um, description and it'll show you the pattern. You're gonna need some satin, some felt, a newborn sock, a um, piece of cord, a tassel, a piece of wood. This measures um, two inch by three quarters of an inch. If you can't find that, you can get a piece of styrofoam that's two inches. You're gonna need a bead for his nose, um, a craft tube, but you can use a toilet paper roll if you want to, some faux fur, some stuffing, and I've already cut all of my pattern pieces. Um, you need to cut out a two inch and a two, three and quarter inch felt circles. If you have a die cut, it makes it a lot easier. We're gonna go ahead and start with our sock. We're gonna go ahead and cut it off just below the heel. And then we're gonna fill it up with some polyfill. If you, if you use a styrofoam base, you might wanna put a little bit of um, weighted bead in here too, because of the base of the wood is pretty, um, pretty heavy. Just gonna go ahead and roll that up, make him a little bit thin. And then we're gonna add our piece of wood. And that's just a wheel. I got them at um, Hobby Lobby, and I'll put a link to those in the description. You get a whole bag full of them. Just pull that right around there, all the way around it, and we're going to glue it off at the bottom. And we're going to cover that up with that two-inch circle so you won't see any of that. We're going to go ahead and trim off where the heel is because it's a little bit thick right there. And then we're going to go ahead and pull them on around, and we're going to go ahead and glue them down. These bases work really, really good if you're going to put some um, weighted beads in it because it will hold them in without them coming out. Okay, after we get that all glued down real good, we're gonna go ahead and attach our two inch piece of felt to the bottom just to, to finish it off. Just take the glue and just glue it all around and glue it down real good. And then you come in here and go around the edges real close so that you can finish it off really nice. All right, then we're gonna take a rubber band and we're gonna tie it around the top to kind of make a little head so that when we put our hat on, that head can go right through that hat. Then we're gonna tie it off with a string and I forgot to tell you at the beginning, you're gonna need a string, but you will need a string because that rubber band is not gonna hold for long. Then go ahead and snip that off. We're gonna put that aside and we're gonna go ahead and build our um, gown. We're just gonna go along the bottom edge and we're gonna hem it up about a quarter of an inch I'm just taking my time on this because the glue dries really fast on this satin for some reason. Just do a little section at a time and glue that on up a quarter of an inch. So we have a nice hemline on the bottom of his um, gown. Then we're going to take it and turn it over with facing sides together. And we are going to glue those across the front. So we can glue those sides together so we have a nice seam down the back of his um, body. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put that aside. And we're going to go ahead and build our hat. We're just going to take a, um, we're going to cut our piece of um, tube or toilet paper, whatever you want to use. We're going to cut it to an inch. We're going to fold that fabric over a quarter of an inch so that we have a nice seam. And then on the other end, we're just going to put a little glue and we're going to just roll that thing up. And then we're going to put slits on both ends so that we can tuck that in real good all the way around. We're just going to slit it all the way around on both sides. That way when you tuck that in, you have a nice smooth edge along the top. And we just put a little glue inside all the way around and we're just gonna tuck those little tabs all the way down, all the way around. And we're gonna do that on both sides. And that's gonna be the base of his hat. All right, then while that dries, we're gonna go ahead and take our um, felt hat and we're gonna go ahead and um, glue it together. And those are two and a half by two and a half squares. And then just add a little glue around the edge just to finish it out. And next, we're going to add our tassel. I bought pre-made tassels. You can get them on Amazon, but you will have to cut them shorter. You just take your cord, fold it in half, run it through the loop of that tassel. And then tie that off. And then we're going to tie a knot in the middle. 
to hold those together. So find the middle of your hat. We're going to tie that off right there. Pull it tight. And then snip it off. And then we're going to glue it right to the center of the hat. And then we're going to cover it up with those two um, three-quarter inch circles that we cut. That way it gives it a little bit of um, dimension at the top of his hat. It'll cover up, the first one will cover up the knot, and then the second one will add a little dimension to it. And a lint roller is really handy with this, these gnomes. Obviously, y'all probably already know that. All right, then put that one right on top of the other one. And we will set that aside. Go ahead and take his... Um, gown put it over the top and we're going to glue it down in the front the side and the two sides just a little dot of glue just to hold it down so that when we tie the top off it stays in place and it doesn't rise we're not going to glue the back because we want his gown to kind of stick out in the back like it's flowing i say gown i mean a robe You don't have to put a lot of glue, just a little dollop on each side just to kind of hold it down. Because if you don't and you put your rubber, round, rubber band around the top at the, in a minute, it will rise up. Alright, then we're going to take our other rubber band and we're going to tie it right around that same place where we had the other rubber band to finish that off. Now we're going to go ahead and take the beard, cut it out. Trim off that top, get that off of there so you have a nice starting point. I should have already done this before I started the video, but I didn't. Sorry about that. And we're going to cut the beard two inches by two inches. We're just going to make our two marks, and we're just going to go and you around to that bottom mark and back you back up to the top, just cutting in the very, very back of the fur only, not straight through the fur. And then we're going to just clean the excess fur off of that, kind of clean it up. And then we are going to attach it to the front of our gown. Make sure your seam is in the back. And then we're going to glue it right around the bottom part of that, uh, top of that fabric. All right, then we're going to go ahead and attach the hat. We're just going to stick it right over the top of that ball. Pull that ball on up through there so it's kind of flush with the top of the hat. And we're going to add a bunch of glue around the edge to hold that in. And then we're going to glue our hat on. Pull that ball up to the top ledge of that hat so when you put that hat on, you can put glue on the top of that ball too and it'll hold that hat on really, really well. We're just going to put a bunch of glue on top and then we're going to just go right around the ledge of that hat. Not too much glue there, but just get it on there. Then we're just going to put that hat on however you want it to be on there. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his nose. We're just going to put a dollop of glue on there, put it right in the center. Tuck it up underneath the hat just a little bit. Hold it till it dries. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to put just a little dollop of glue on the ledge of his, um, on the inside ledge of his hat, just above his nose to hold it onto it. All right, there you have it. A cute little three and three quarter inch little graduation gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.